So let's dive into the phenomena of sky dancers in the 1990s. These flying fairy toys took the world by storm, becoming a must-have item for children everywhere. But what made them so popular? Let's explore their marketing strategies, target audiences, and the reasons behind their success. First, we have to talk about the marketing strategies employed by the creators of Sky Dancers. They use television commercials that showcase the magical, whimsical nature of the toys, emphasizing their ability to dance and fly through the air. These commercials were captivating and created a sense of wonder and excitement making children everywhere long to have a sky dancer of their own. The target audience for sky dancers was primarily young girls, aged between five and nine years old. The toys were designed to appeal to their interests, featuring bright colors, delicate fairy designs, and the ability to fly like a real fairy light. Additionally, the packaging and advertising materials often depicted groups of girls playing with the toys together, reinforcing the idea that sky dancers were not only fun, but also a social activity. One of the main reasons behind the success of sky dancers was the innovative and unique way they could be played with. Unlike traditional dolls or action figures, these toys were designed to be launched into the air by pulling a string, creating a thrilling interactive experience for children. This combined with their whimsical, magical design made them an irresistible choice for kids and parents alike. In summary, the widespread popularity of sky dancers in the 1990s can be attributed to their clever marketing strategies, a strong focus on their target audience, and a unique, innovative play experience they offered. These factors combined to make Sky Dancers a must-have toy for children during that time. Now that we've discussed the popularity of Sky Dancers, let's take a closer look at their design and mechanics. These aspects played a significant role in both their appeal and the eventual safety concerns that arose. The construction of Sky Dancers primarily consisted of hard plastic, with the body and wings being made of this material. This added durability to the toys, ensuring they would last through countless flights. However, the hard plastic also posed the danger when the toy collided with people or objects during play. The launching mechanism of Sky Dancers was a simple yet effective pull string system. The base of the toy contained a winding mechanism that when activated by pulling the string would send the Sky Dancer soaring into the air. This interactive play feature was a significant draw for children, making the toy much more engaging than traditional dolls or figures. Now, about those unpredictable flight paths. The design of the wings played a major role in this. The wings were curved and angled, which meant that when the toy was launched, it would spin rapidly and take off in various directions. While this added an element of excitement to the play experience, it also made the Sky Dancers difficult to control and potentially hazardous. Another factor contributing to the erratic flight patterns was the pull string mechanism itself. The strength and speed at which the string was pulled could greatly impact the flight trajectory, making it challenging for children to predict where the toy would land. In summary, the design and mechanics of Sky Dancers, including their hard plastic construction, cool string launching mechanism, and the factors contributing to their unpredictable flight paths, made the, 
Now let's delve into the safety concerns and incidents surrounding Sky Dancers. As much as these toys were loved for their whimsical design and unique play experience, they also caused a number of injuries to children, which eventually led to their recall. One of the main reasons for injuries caused by Sky Dancers was their unpredictable flight paths. Due to the spinning motion and varying launch strength, it was difficult for children to control or predict where the toy would land. As a result, there were numerous incidents of sky dancers colliding with children's faces or other body parts, causing injuries. The hard plastic construction of the toy only exacerbated the issue. When a sky dancer collided with a child's face or body at high speeds, the impact could cause significant harm. Some of the most common injuries reported were facial lacerations, eye injuries, and even broken tooth. These incidents were not isolated, and the number of reported injuries continued to rise as the toy's popularity grew. As parents and caregivers became increasingly aware of the dangers posed by sky dancers, concerns began to mount. Many questioned the safety of a toy that could cause such harm, especially when it was designed for young children. These concerns eventually led to a more in-depth investigation into the safety of sky dancers, which we'll discuss in the next section. But for now, it's important to recognize the various injuries caused by these seemingly innocent toys as they played a significant role in the eventual recall of Sky Dancers. Let's now examine the events leading up to the recall of Sky Dancers in 2000. As we discussed, the numerous injuries caused by these toys raised significant safety concerns. The role of consumer safety organizations, media coverage, and public outcry all played a part in prompting the voluntary recall by the manufacturer. Consumer safety organizations, such as the Consumer Product Safety Commission in the United States, began investigating the safety of sky dances after receiving numerous injury reports. They examined the toy's design, construction, and the potential hazards it posed to children during play. As the evidence mounted, it became increasingly clear that the risks associated with sky dancers outweighed their appeal. Media coverage also played a pivotal role in raising awareness about the dangers of sky dancers. News outlets reported on the injuries caused by the toys, as well as the ongoing investigation by consumer safety organizations. This coverage not only informed the public of the hazards, but also put pressure on the manufacturer to address the issue. Public outcry, fueled by both the injury reports and the media coverage, demanded action from the manufacturer. Parents and caregivers expressed their concern and outrage, voicing their opinions on the dangers of the toy and the need for a recall. This outcry, combined with the findings of consumer safety organizations, ultimately led the manufacturer to voluntarily recall Sky Dancers in 2000. In conclusion, the recall of Sky Dancers was the result of a combination of events, including the role of consumer safety organizations, media coverage, and public outcry. These factors all contributed to the decision by the manufacturer to voluntarily recall the toy and address the safety concerns surrounding it. Finally, let's explore the aftermath of the Sky Dancers recall and the impact it had on the toy industry as a whole. 
The recall led to changes in safety regulations, product design, and testing, and left a lasting legacy as a cautionary tale in the world of children's toys. Following the recall, the toy industry experienced increased scrutiny when it came to safety regulations. Both manufacturers and regulatory bodies recognize the need for more stringent safety standards to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. This led to the introduction of stricter guidelines and testing protocols to ensure that toys were safe for their intended audience before being released to the market. Changes in product design and testing were also evident in the aftermath of the Sky Dancers recall. Manufacturers began to place a greater emphasis on safety during the design process, paying close attention to potential hazards such as sharp edges, small parts, or other risks that can pose a danger to children. Moreover, testing procedures became more rigorous, with toys being put through a wider range of tests to assess their safety and durability under various conditions. The lasting legacy of Sky Dancers as a cautionary tale in the world of children's toys cannot be understated. The recall served as a stark reminder to manufacturers, regulatory bodies, and consumers alike about the importance of safety when it comes to children's playthings. For many, Sky Dancers became synonymous with the potential dangers that can arise when safety is not a top priority during the design and manufacturing process. In conclusion, the aftermath of the Sky Dancers recall had a profound impact on the toy industry. The increased focus on safety regulations, changes in product design and testing, and the lasting legacy of Sky Dancers as a cautionary tale all serve as reminders of the importance of prioritizing safety in the world of children's toys.